probably worth fifteen hundred. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to Google it or, or yeah. anything. <laughs> Morning. Good morning. Okay, fifteen it is. Why not? You know. Sure. It's it's a it's a Raleigh. Why not? What else am I gonna buy today? There you go. <laughs> Do you have any vinyl records? Um, do we haven't yeah. them yet? We do. Bring that up. Yeah. Bring them and then we'll go through them. Yeah. Just so I know I don't want to get rid of them. Okay. Um, I'll swing back around in like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Thank you. How much is your lawnmower? That is uh, 30. 30 bucks. How much are your shirts? Everything's a dollar. dollar. You got two hats and a shirt. There you go. Thank you, sir. I'm back. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks. You too. Morning. Good. How are you doing? I'm gonna buy your Sparky Anderson poster. Perfect. Thank you.
find the freezer. Yeah, 25 cents. <laughs> All right. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Oh, you're a pretty dog. Yeah, you're a pretty dog. You just want a little bit of attention. Yeah. You have any other sports memorabilia, bobbleheads, or Cincinnati Red um, stuff? You know what? Um, nothing that would be Cincinnati. Okay, what else do you have? Um, I think in this up here, I've got some. Uh, like, um, there's some uh, lithographed uh, Kansas City Chiefs okay. footballs. They're from uh, um, early '90s. Okay, I'd love to take a look at them. Okay, let me. Um, George. Oh, that's cool. Big jumbo card. Yeah. Are you from Kansas City? Um, I, I lived there after college. Okay. And then I've got these footballs. 1999 Chiefs. And here's the George Brett. This was when he went into the Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah. And then this is probably the best thing I've got. Here's a Hank Aaron um, autograph. Is this oh, one no, Hank? This isn't it. Is that Hank? Yeah, that's the Hank Aaron. Okay. One. This one. That's, um, Did you have that signed yourself? No, I actually want it as a uh, sales incentive. Oh, that's um, neat. I used to have like a certificate with it. Somehow I lost it. Um, oh, I do have something reds. Matt Latos. Matt Latos. What would you want for the Aaron Ball? Ten bucks. Sure. Probably worth fifteen hundred. <laughs> I'm not gonna get, try to Google it or, or yeah. anything. <laughs> well, I sure do appreciate it. Yep, no problem. You have a great day. Yeah, hey, appreciate you stopping I got the cooler here for three. Okay, thank you. Thank you, have a good day. Thank you, you too. It's Monday morning. When I got back from the garage sales on Friday, I didn't have a chance to pull everything out, but I've got it all out now. I'm gonna show you guys what I found. I got this cooler for $3. This is probably from the 70s, if I had to guess. It's from Polaron. They made a lot of Coca-Cola coolers and it's made in the USA, so I think it'll do pretty well. I saw one comp on eBay where this same cooler had a sticker that said Mustang and it sold for like 70 bucks. But I don't know if this is the same one, but I'm probably just gonna stick it in the antique booth. Probably my best find of the day is this Hank Aaron signed baseball. The guy didn't have any kind of certification with it or anything, but the signature looks really good to me. And I sent a picture of it to a buddy of mine who also collects this kind of stuff and he wanted it. So I went in and sold it to him for 70 bucks and I paid 10 bucks for that. Got this Polar watch, um, kind of like a heart rate monitor for $2. These have really gone down in value ever since Fitbits and Apple Watches and all that came out. So this might still sell for about $20. It doesn't look like it got much use. Might need a new battery though. At the same sale as the watch, I got these four cars. They wanted $25 for a four off or 20, but they weren't budging. I went ahead and paid the 25. They're all Dale Jarrett. I think I can average maybe $15 a car for them. Got this vintage Bengal shirt for a dollar. It's the Super Bowl. Notice it doesn't say Super Bowl champions because unfortunately they lost that game. They also had this cool Bengals hat for a buck and an old corduroy Steelers hat. I don't know why a Bengals fan would own Bengals gear and Steelers gear. I thought that was kind of interesting. Got a UK hat, uh, new with the tags for $3. Got this Poi Dog record for a dollar. 
I've never heard of him, but I just thought the cover art was pretty interesting, so went ahead and picked that up. This was also a great find. This is a signed Sparky Anderson, I guess it's a lithograph or a print. It's got a signature down here, numbered to 574, and it has JSA authentication with it too, which definitely adds to the value. Somebody had donated this. The sale I found this at was uh, a fundraiser for a, uh, a local cat shelter. Um, so the original buyer had paid $150 for this thing, and then they just priced it at $20 for the sale. So I was happy to pick that up for 20 bucks. And last but not least, here are the records. So I made a boneheaded move. <laughs> the sale I asked if they had vinyl records, they said yes, and I was like, yeah, I'll come back in 10 minutes. I should have just sat there and waited for them to bring them out. Because when I did come back, it was exactly 10 minutes later, and somebody was already there rifling through them, making a big stack of records. And I just sat there and watched. It was so painful just to see them pull out like all the really good ones and get them all for cheap. So that was a mistake on my part. So guys, don't do that. If you go to a garage sale and you ask if they have something and they say yes, just sit and wait for it. Don't leave and come back, because you'll miss out on all the good stuff. I was still able to pick a few out. I found nine. They were a buck each. Uh, let's see, Joe Jackson, Dave Mason, Chicago, another Dave Mason, another Dave Mason. I think this is a double of that Dave Mason. Another Chicago, Bob Seeger, and Paul Simon. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.